Thank you so much for clicking onto this video. The five things I wish I knew when I started my online business. The first thing I want to touch upon is money and expenses. When I started my business, I was told that I could start it with around only $50. And this is not to say that it's completely impossible to start a business if you're broke. But what I just want to say is that, let's say you just have a regular job right now. It would be pretty easy for you to save up anywhere between two to $5,000 in a span of three to six months. Why would you want to start a company without the actual foundation and fundament of the knowledge and the skill that you need to have in order to run a successful company? So instead of going out there starting a company with $50, you'll just be surprised as soon as you need subscriptions that cost $20 a month, you maybe need to set up a bank account that might be $500 a month. You need to get company license as well that might be $500 as well in startup expenses. So for you to have the easiest beginning of your online business, you have to set yourself a budget and don't be cheap. It's not going to help you run a successful company if you start out with $50. It's easy for you to start your business if you have from two to $5,000. The second thing I want to touch upon is what is called the shiny object syndrome. And this is a thing I see a lot of people struggling with. So what they do is that they've maybe started dropshipping. You run it for three to six months, you're not successful. Ah, oh, okay, but the business model is just a fraud or whatever you might say. I'll do a digital marketing agency instead. And that's the way to do it. And that's the greatest business model. And then you run a digital marketing agency for three to six months. You're not successful again. And you stand there, oh, this is a fraud as well. What is going on? Am I just being scammed into buying a dropshipping course and a digital marketing course? What's happening? But what you forget is that the grass is always green on the other side. And while you're running the digital agency, you'll look at the dropshipping guy that are having success and be like, oh, this is the way to do it. And if you're dropshipping and you look at the digital agency guy and you're having success, you'll think, oh, this is the way to do it. What you have to do is that if you're in a situation where you keep on jumping from business model to business model, knees to knees, from service to service, then you have to stop. You have to lock in on one specific business model, one specific service, one specific niche, and work on it for at least two to three years before you determine if you were successful or not. Because there's no greater business model than others, especially with online businesses. You could be successful running a digital agency, you could be successful dropshipping, but it's definitely not going to come from you just working on it three to six months sporadically and then just wondering why you're not being successful. You have to stop being a chicken with your head cut off, running around in circles and not knowing what you're doing. You have to lock in two to three years, work hard, and then you'll be able to arrive the success that you get from that. The number three thing I wish I knew when I started my online business is to hire as soon as possible. And yeah, I know this might sound counterintuitive because this gives you a high monthly overhead. This is not the boutique agency model you maybe heard about. But what I want to say with this is you've never heard about the multi-million dollar company success that was just a one-man army. That simply just not happen. So what you have to figure out is that you are not going to run a successful company with a revenue of five to ten thousand dollars a month and i believe that you are limited yourself unless you have a business model that might be a course or something like that that is non-subject to gravity then you'll never be able to make a lot of money from running a digital marketing agency if it's only yourself you'll be stuck in operations and you won't be able to actually do any business development and business development is where you actually create the business and are not only being just an employee at your own business what i suggest for you to do is as soon as you have saved up three to six months of salary of your own salary and an employee salary you should hire your first full-time employee because this gives you 40 hours of hard deep concentrated work every single week that you're not able to provide the company yourself also this will motivate you a lot because all of a sudden you're the boss you have an employee to look after you have to give him tasks you have to give him motivation you have to be the hardest worker in the company you want to be the good example so this will force you into doing a lot better job at your, running your own company while also having another guy working 40 hours a week doing a great job as well this just moves the money needle a lot more than you working hard hustling in your own company the fourth thing i wish i knew when i started my online business was that being a business owner equals no freedom it equals no money or at least less in the first six to 24 months 
and it doesn't give your ability to do whatever you want at whatever time. That's just the honest truth. I would love to sit here and tell you that after three months you have all the money you would want, you can do whatever you want at whatever time, but that's just not real life. It takes at least six to 24 months before you would get even close to a spot where you have the freedom of an entrepreneur that you see on social media. You just doesn't get there that easy. So I'm not even at the point where I have complete freedom, all the money I want. Of course I make a good amount of money and I have a okay amount of freedom, but I still have to work every day. I have to answer emails, I have to answer phone calls, I have to attend meetings every single day. So it takes a lot of time and I believe you have to have at least four to five employees working for you in your business before you're at a point where you can actually have freedom of time and do whatever you want with the amount of money you aspire. So when starting an online business, you need to know that it just takes a lot of time and a lot of hard work and you need to lock in on that because otherwise you just won't be successful. The fifth and last thing I wish I knew when I started my online business is that motivation is temporary while discipline is constant. And to compare this, when you get into a new relationship, there's usually something called the honeymoon phase. In this phase, you're motivated, you feel good, everything is just nice and just flows. And that's a wonderful feeling. And you'll be telling your parents, you'll be telling your friends and family about your new business and you feel so motivated and happy and it's just going to be a huge success. But after three to six months, reality happened and you're probably not as successful as you aspire to be. So what do you do? You don't switch business model. That's the first thing at least. And what you then have to do is you have to plan out specific tasks that you can do every single day and that moves you close to the goal that you want to achieve. So let's say you're running a digital marketing agency. If you're trying to get new clients through outreach, then set yourself an amount of outreaches you have to send out every single day. And this is not only Monday to Friday, this is every single day for two years. Because people go out there and they say, oh, I'm not motivated, this business model is a fraud, whatever someone might say. And what they're actually saying is that I was not successful at this, this I believe that other people can be successful. What you have to understand is that you can build a successful business from the motivation spike that you get from starting your company. Your business is going to be successful based upon the hard work that you're going to do with one, two, three employees over the next three to five years. That is where you're going to be successful. Success is not a three to six month work hard and then get all the benefits. That's just not it. Motivation goes up and down all the time, just like stocks. And discipline lies in what you are able to do on a day-to-day -day basis, which moves you closer to your actual goal. So this was the five things I wish I knew when I started my online business. I hope this was some useful points. If you're starting a business or you've just started your new online business, this would be a really good video for you and really pay attention to these specific points because it's going to help you so much in the future. If you like the video, please leave a like or a comment below. Otherwise, just have an amazing day. Bye.